how lame is it that I want to cry? I'm so glad my accident turned into something beautiful. So my mom says, no kidding. I'm back and today I am going to be crafting. I know it's been a while but I've been feeling lousy and you get depressed. I'm pretty sure everybody feels that and today I feel okay. So I put on a face, tried to tame my hair even though it's still frizzy because summer is happening. I think there's a little summer bug floating around here somewhere and it's really frustrating me. But the point is I'm going to craft because I need to feel as though something in the world is in my control. Even if it's not real, today it is. So I'm going to be making a galaxy in a jar because there's just something pretty about a galaxy that you're able to touch. Now if you've never tried making a galaxy in a jar before, it's actually pretty simple. Basically you're going to need some cotton balls, some water, some paint or food coloring if you prefer, some glitter if that's that's your thing, not mine, and a container that has a lid that can seal. And then when you complete the project, it will look something like this. Now, I'm not sure how well it's coming across in the footage, but this is basically a really pretty pastel galaxy. And to be honest, it looks more like a cotton candy, which is definitely not what I was going for. So I'm really glad that I did a test run with this because I learned quite a few things, such as you need a lot of cotton balls. Honestly, this took about 80 or 85 cotton balls for this small container. I also learned that although my pink is very bright and my blue is very bright, it still turned out pastel. Now I know that I'm going to need some darker colors. So today I am prepped with a whole bunch of pre-mixed colors and I also have two jugs of water here so that I can mix the colors that I'm going to need in smaller batches as needed, if that makes any sense. Basically, you're going to want a lot of black and darker colors, but maybe you might want a little streak of yellow or green or silver, I don't know, whatever you want in your galaxy. Point is, I have some cups ready so that I can mix those colors as needed. The next thing that I have, because I know that this took so many cotton balls and it was such a small container, is a buttload of cotton balls. And I truly mean that. I have at least 20 bags of cotton balls and each one has at least a hundred in them. So hopefully that's enough and if it's not, I might have to pause this video and go shopping. <laughs> the next thing that you're gonna need is a container. So basically you can make a galaxy in a jar or in a bottle. As long as it's a clear container with a lid and you're confident that it's not gonna spill, you should be great. Which brings me to my receptacle. Try not to die of laughter because it really doesn't make sense, but I need to point out that I purchased this for $5 and it came with extras, okay? And here it is. Oh wait, you can't actually see it. I'm gonna take off the top. So it comes with this hideous lampshade, which I plan on replacing at some point, but just because I need a lampshade today, I'm gonna try to make this galaxy by painting it and see if the light will shine through. What we're here for is the container and considering this is actually quite heavy and the bottles of paint and water are already heavy, I'm actually a little concerned that the table is not going to be able to hold the weight of my actual lamp, but we're going to deal with that when we come to it. I didn't put that much thought into it. So anyways, here is my container and it's filled with naked Barbies. <laughs> And as you can see, it's got this cork in the top. I will have to seal this, and I would recommend doing that with silicone if you have a lamp like this. And if you're concerned as to why there's even a hole in there, there was lamp fixture pieces there, which I've gone ahead and removed because I don't want the video to be 10 hours long. But if you're wondering how we're gonna make it light up, then here is your answer. <laughs> you may remember this from such films as the Jam Bright Party Session. That's not the name of it, but anyways, I figured that this was absolutely perfect and a good way to not have to use any electrical stuff and still be able to show off what hopefully turns out to be a really cool galaxy lamp because all you have to do for this is push it and just imagine that this is painted nicely. Okay, well now you can't see it because all the lights are on, but hopefully it works well. That's, that's the point. Now I'm going to quickly take out the Barbies and leave them to the side for another day where I can separate them and decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I will donate. Then I'm going to clean the inside and outside of the jar and allow it time to dry while we paint our lampshade. And the reason I'm doing this is because it needs to be completely dry inside so I could take some crappy nail polish that I got at the dollar store that's filled with a bunch of glitter and do little lines on the inside. Because when I used loose glitter in here, and yes, I used loose glitter, it didn't actually show up and it was such a waste of my time. So since that is such a thick glass, I want to make sure I'll be able to see it, hence the nail polish. It's definitely going to stick to the sides, but only if the jar is dry. So, fingers crossed, it doesn't turn out super horrible, but I know I don't like the shape, so it's probably not going to be anything to what I would want to keep forever. Maybe I'll surprise myself. Maybe I should put a TARDIS on it. That'd be cool. All right, 
let's do that. <laughs> I'm getting more ideas, I'm excited. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I've got my lampshade. My plan is just going to be to paint it. And it might turn out horrible as mentioned, but I really don't care. I just feel like being creative. So if you have any suggestions for me in the future, feel free to drop them below. But just remember, this is just for fun. So I've got some paints here, my nice, clean, fresh, brand new palette, my trusty, ugly cardboard, some sponges, whoop, dropping one, and a bunch of paintbrushes off to the side. And using these magical materials, Hopefully we'll create a galaxy, or at least that's the plan. As you can see, I'm just dabbing away at the black and then I kind of blend it in just so that we have a first thin layer of black. And then I'm gonna go over it after, once it starts to dry, adding the little spots. Now it's very possible that this is gonna be pointless because maybe the light won't shine through it at all. But I still, of course, need it to look like a lamp. Otherwise I can't say that I'm making a galaxy lamp. So we're just gonna go with it, okay? And we're gonna hope for the best. Although I already like this lampshade a lot better now that it's just straight up black. So I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna keep layering blue with black and start to add other colors. All right, this doesn't look supremely horrible, but I'm gonna go in and start adding some pink and eventually some purple. But I'm noticing it comes on pretty strong, like Jen, when I just become your friend. And I'm definitely gonna have to blend it out a bit with a drier sponge. This is actually looking pretty good. I mean, up close it looks horrible, but when I'm looking in the camera, I'm slightly, like I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. I keep on thinking that I've done enough and then I go ahead and add a bit more and then I'm like, yeah, Jen, you just overdid it. That looks dumb. I probably should not have done that. So every time I sort of screw up like that, I take a dry sponge with a bit of black and I sort of just dab it on. So then it starts to look like it's a bit further away in a far off galaxy. But I noticed that the dark blue sort of just disappears. So I'm kind of testing out what it looks like if I add another layer of blue on top of the pink, which now looks purple, because it stands out more. So once that dries, blend it in and dab on some other colors. And then little glints of green, even though that sounds silly, like far away, a light little green. So it just looks like a sun is lighting something up in the distance, I don't know. We're just working with it, okay? We're working with it. And it's not horrible. I wonder if it's gonna show off any color, probably not, but I'm just gonna continue on for a little longer and then I'm gonna flick on some little stars and stop, I guess. All right, you may notice that this looks so, so different and that's because I definitely did not like what I had. It just looked like a really weird 90s teal and pink and black marble couch to me because it turns out I'm actually terrible at painting galaxies. So I repainted it and I'm going again and I'm liking how the clouds are sort of turning out right now and I don't know why it turned into clouds, but it has. I just wanted to fill you in as to why things are suddenly different because obviously I stopped filming and started again. Not everything that you try to make is gonna turn out the way you see it in your head. That's the good thing about art and being creative. Sometimes it takes a spin in a totally different direction and it ends up looking okay. Oh my God, that looks so, so, so much better. At this point, I'm just going to speckle on some little white stars. And I did try to use the flick method with my paintbrush because I didn't have a toothbrush handy, but I didn't like it because it makes like marble streaks. I did go ahead and add some nail polish, as silly as that sounds, because I misplaced my yellow paint. I blended it in using my finger and added a little bit of stars, and I really like it. It kind of makes it seem like something's happening way back there. Before I leave this to dry completely, I'm gonna use this really cheap, glittery dollar store nail polish that I have to add a bit of sparkle to this, because I think it would look pretty, plus I need to use up this terrible nail polish. I guess I could have just done Mod Podge and then sprinkled glitter on this, but then it would've been too much glitter. And then I might've spilled it everywhere and then been really, really annoyed with myself, you know? I'm I'm gonna set this off to the side so it can dry completely and I will clear coat it on my own time. And then I'm gonna get started on the galaxy portion in the jar of the galaxy lamp. Now that I'm done with the lampshade, I'm gonna move on to my jug and this is so, so huge. Honestly, this is gonna be really easy. You're just gonna get all the colors you plan on using and one by one, you're gonna pour the colors a bit at a time and then stretch out some cotton and literally just sop it all up. And once it's been absorbed by the cotton, you can go ahead and add another color. Now this is gonna take forever. So I'm gonna do this in a time-lapse fashion, but before I get started, I'm just gonna let you know I have a nice bright pink, a light purple, the dark purple, blue, yellow for some reason in case I wanna use it, and black. And I've also got loose glitter here. I'm not sure how well it's gonna show up though. So I did add some streaks of clear glitter nail polish, once again from the dollar store to the inside of the container. Time to time-lapse. As you can see, it's gonna take a good long while. Hey guys.
guys, me again. I've decided I'm gonna stop filming for today because my craft is not going as planned. Because although this looks great in mini form, it doesn't translate over so well in a larger scale. And I sort of started questioning that as I went. The two liter bottles of water were already heavy and so was the jug before we began, but it looks like crap. I haven't even started coloring in the top and I even tried filling it with empty plastic so that it would just take up some recycling and then we could build around it. But it's like 75 pounds and super heavy. So I'm actually gonna pull all of this out and think of something better for tomorrow. So I'm gonna get a good night's rest because I've been down here for hours. The fumes of nail polish are getting to me and my back is killing me because this was really, really tall. And I've been standing on a chair hunched over for about an hour trying to make it work and it's just not going to. Hopefully I can think of something else so that this craft isn't a complete waste. But hey, not everything works out. That might be what this video becomes. <laughs> just something to say, hey, it didn't work. <laughs> we'll see, but not until tomorrow. So see you then. Hey guys, we are back. Welcome to day two slash really it's day three because I took a day off in between since my back hurts so dang bad. Before I continue, I just want to say I may have over exaggerated the actual weight of the half completed giant jar. It was probably more like 15 pounds, maybe not 75, but it sure as heck felt really heavy and I knew I wouldn't be able to continue. So I cleared out the jar and it's ready for round two. And if you're worried about where everything went, don't be. We've got 15 pounds of wet cotton here in this bag and they're all colored. So since I don't wanna waste those, I have two options. I can either spread them out outside and let the sun dry them up and save them for another craft or I could buy a smaller container and still try to complete the DIY. It's just not gonna be as cool. So in the spirit of making things difficult for myself, that's what I chose to do. We've got our lovely lampshade here. It actually looks really, really pretty, but because I used nail polish on it, there are some areas that are a bit more glossy than I'd like. And I just realized it's because I didn't Mod Podge everything yet. So at some point when I'm not tired of painting anymore, I will do that hoping that it makes everything the exact same amount of glossy or if I use the matte gloss, maybe it will sort of just dumb it down a bit. I'm not sure, but in the end it turned out really, really cool. And if I managed to make this look like a proper galaxy in a jar, we just have a very strange cylindrical lamp. But I still do want to do something with this. And I have two options that I can think of. One is to fill it with tissue paper and just call it a day. And the other is to mix Mod Podge with just the slightest amount of black and sort of dab it all over, hoping that the lights, which I've now decided to put upside down, will show through. Because to be honest, when I put the light in there, it looked really, really cool. And because the lampshade has two layers of fabric, we weren't even really able to see through it. So that's kind of what I want to do. And then the third option is to just put the light in because it honestly looks really wicked without any paint. Maybe I'll actually just do that and just focus all my energy on the cylindrical jar. In fact, because this has already taken so long, I think that's just what I'll do or at least for now, until I decide midway through that I might want to do something else. <laughs> Ta-da! I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, but yes. To the table, to the craft. Just so we know, in case you're confused, I am gonna be starting with the super wet cotton balls. So I'm gonna kinda pick and choose, like the ones that are mostly black to add, and then pour in more black, and then pink, and whatnot. So if you're wondering why it looks so crazy, it's because I don't wanna be wasteful. I'm gonna try to use what I have left over. So, now cue the craft. <coughs> in cotton fluff. The table. And just as I attempted to do or explain with the first jar, we're gonna add our colored water and layer our stretched out cotton balls. And it's gonna either go really, really well or really, really bad. I'm really hoping that it's gonna go well because I have a lot here. And then I'm gonna mash it all down with a tube. I don't know what the sound effects were for, but let's get started. Folks, I am back. I will admit that this is not as great as it could be, and there's definitely a lot more gaps creating more big 
puffy clouds than I would have liked, but that is of course because I was using already smushed, soaked, condensed cotton balls. And in order for everything to not just turn into a big gray lump, I had to add new fresh cotton balls, which I did stretch out. You could definitely tell where I did those ones because it's a much more vibrant color. But I mean, it could be a lot worse and I didn't want to waste the ones that I had started. That would be trash for no reason. I don't know why I just put that down because now I gotta show you what it looks like. So pretend this is much taller and wider and wouldn't look super strange underneath this giant canopy because, oh my God, it's blocking all my light. Hold on, try again. See, hold on, pretend, that's worse. <laughs> Pretend it wasn't super narrow. It looks kind of funny underneath such a huge lampshade, but we're gonna use our imaginations and pretend it's wider and taller. And we're going to add this egg because once again, I don't wanna use electricity with liquid. So if you don't remember this, this is a jam bright light. And once it's turned on, it blinks red, green, and blue in time to music. And there's a plastic little disco ball in there, which helps to spread the colors around, making it kind of galactic on its own, but mostly just a fun little party in the dark. Quick strobe warning. I'm not sure how much this is gonna work in the light, but basically you push down on it and when you talk or play music, it just kind of blinks away. We're gonna put that on there and put that on there. And Viola, you've got a light. It's very heavy and I'm about to drop it. Not my best work and definitely not what I had in mind. Turn that off and I'm gonna show you plan two. Because this is such a thick glass and I can see so many thicker bubble sections, it feels very similar to that disco plastic ball inside here. So my plan is to put it upside down inside there and have it just kinda this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm hoping it sort of just goes in on itself and just goes everywhere, I guess. Okay, you can't really see anything with the lights on. Once again, I'm not so good at lights in the light. So I'm gonna leave that because it's going to the beat of my voice. La la la. And I'm just gonna add something on top, probably the top of the egg, to be honest. Add the lamp and I'm just gonna call it a day until I think of something better. Actually, no. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna put some pretty things inside and see if it helps do anything to it. Obviously my plan of making this a galaxy in a jar is not going so well. I had big dreams and there's no way all that water and cotton is gonna ever go in there again. For a short while I considered putting ripped up tissue paper in there like black, blue, pink, all that stuff to sort of create a galaxy but one, it looked foolish and two, considering I wasn't able to see through it with a straight up plain light, I don't wanna waste my time wasting tissue paper and still not being able to see the cool following the beat of my song or voice light that comes out of this. So I think I have one more thing to try if I can find it. So I'll be right back. Ha ha, who remembers this? I got this a long time ago. It was sent to me with the fortune cookie friendship bracelets inside. I can't remember the name of them right now. I'm really sorry, but there's a whole, really pretty lid. There's a whole bunch of really, really pretty strands of plastic shimmery ribbon in here. It's green and pink and purple and blue and yellow depending on what color you're looking under. So I feel like we could shove that in there and although it's not galaxy, it's gonna look pretty because maybe too much galaxy is bad. That lampshade is super, super dark and I already can't see the light through it and I really don't wanna rip out the inside liner. So instead, it's gonna be a decorative piece of useless room furniture <laughs> and it's gonna light up on the inside with these ribbons, I just decided. Let's just do that really quick. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. There's even little moons. Fill her up. Oh, they sort of just fall in. That was not as exciting as I wanted it to be. We'll have to shove in some tissue paper, I suppose. I got little bitty T-Rex arms. I can't get in there. All right, and now this stuff. Don't rip, don't rip, don't rip. I like you. Don't rip. Okay, I have this pretty gorgeous moon rock type shape going on in here. Now it's time to add a few of these gorgeous stars because why the heck not, right? Now that the moons and stars are in there, I'm gonna fill it up with all that really pretty iridescent ribbon. Woo, oh, that's so pretty. Can you see all that? It's, it's mighty pink. That might've looked cooler had I used a black tissue paper or maybe a dark blue, but this is what we have. And it came with that box that I had from a long time ago. So I'm gonna put that on and it's doing it. So I wonder what it's gonna look like in the dark. And we're about to find out. So I'm gonna hit the lights, attach my lamp. Although if I do end up liking this and want it to be more permanent, I'd have to attach something up here so that the lamp would actually affix itself to it. Cause right now I'm just sort of gonna hold it on top. But I don't know what I want yet. And I'm not about to settle in the split second that I it took me to decide to do this because I changed my mind as frequently as I blink. So lights. 
Wow. The lights are off and before I show you what the lamp looks like, I am going to give a brief strobe warning because these lights that I am using do flash and change colors. So if you have a sensitivity to flickering lights, you might want to skip this part. Just know that it looks really, really cool, okay? Now, back to this. How cool is this? It actually looks super gorgeous. Pretend I am a song. Because I'm using the Jambrite thing and it has a sound sensor, it's changing with every movement or sound that I make. So if you had music going, this just keeps on changing color, which is actually really, really cool. But on the other hand, because the lampshade is super thick and of course I painted it black, you can't see the color through that. So here's what it looks like without the lampshade. Sort of like a really fantastic party going BB-8. So give me just a second and I'll figure something else out. Now that I know that I have a few things I need to fix in the form of the lampshade, whether that be taking out the inner lining or finding a way to make it gorgeous on its own, we're gonna need to go back to the table. And I think I'm gonna go with option two because I kind of have an idea, which is something that I had left over from Canada Day celebrations two or three years ago. That's a three, so we're going with three. Unfortunately, it's attached to this orange thing right here, but once I unwrap these wires here, I can add the battery into the battery pack and then the LED lights that are interspersed along the wire will light up really pretty colors. So if I pop little holes into the fabric and stick them through, hypothetically, it'll look gorgeous or I'll ruin it. But I mean, at this point, I gotta do something. So <laughs> that's what I'm going with. All right, new, new plan because things just keep happening in my brain. As I went to attach the lights to the inside of the lamp, I realized you still can't see them. And if I was gonna be popping holes through to let those little LED lights shine through, then I might as well rip out the back liner which I did. Ta-da! It doesn't look like much, but there was in fact a white liner there. So then I checked the egg light again and realized if it's a dark enough room, you can actually kind of see through it because although I have layers and layers of paint here, some are obviously gonna be thinner than others. The problem is that you're still not gonna be able to see that on camera. So once again, you're gonna have to take my word for it. However, the lights were still a great idea because I thought they were super pretty and gorgeous and I loved them. So I was gonna add them to the inside of the jar and then I realized how absolutely pretty they were. Then I'd have this orange thing flopping around on the side and you'd see that and that's not exactly beautiful or galactic in any way and then I realized that the cork plug that goes in the top of this jug which used to hold on to the electrical portion of the lamp had a hole in it so I fished the line through the hole and now this stands up right on top which means that if I put that in there I now have an easy access point of turning on this switch but a super ugly stick sticking out which brought me to my next idea even more recycling in the form of a cardboard tube, hooray! And although it's not exactly beautiful, it is once again perfectly customizable. So if I choose to, I could decorate it, but not today, folks, because I have an idea. I'm not painting anything else. I just wanna make this work so that I know it works before I spend more time on it. My idea now is to trim this down to size. It honestly only needs to be bigger than this orange tube. And uh, as you can see, that's two inches too much. So I'm gonna do that, trim it down, glue it on. And then I'm gonna attach, you can't see me. Hey, I'm a lamp. And then I'll attach something flat to the top. Oh, my hands are too small for this. Hold on. So that we'll be able to rest our egg on top. And that means that we can put our lampshade on top and it will glow through under the right light conditions, of course. But since you guys don't want to wait around for me to do that, I'm going to use some magic editing to make it look like it happened instantaneously. But in reality, it's going to take me at least 15 minutes. So I'll see you then. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you my completed lamp but I'm gonna quickly say goodbye now. That way you can just fizzle off into the end of the video with the music and the lights. Once again, strobe warning in effect. So if you know somebody who would enjoy today's video, watching the idea and concept of a craft sort of come to life, then fall apart, and then manifest itself into something completely different, but also kind of still the same, but mostly different, and um, be stuck with a really ugly galaxy in a jar, then please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed it yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below what you liked or didn't like about today's video, what things you would have tried out differently, maybe prepping would have been one. I kind of just like to fly off the seat of my pants sometimes and use up what I've got kicking around. Or just let me know if you would have bought a galaxy lamp instead of making one yourself. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Enjoy the show. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are in the dark and I didn't know this could be so beautiful, but it is. It's breathtaking. On the back, it's not as bright as on the front because I sort of shoved all the wires apparently in one direction, but now it just looks like even further away galaxies. It's so pretty. You change the direction and everything changes. Oh my God, I love it so much. 
I'm so glad my first idea didn't work because I wouldn't have discovered this. Even if this was the only laid up portion that I created, I'd be happy. Oh my God, it's beautiful. How lame is it that I want to cry? I'm so glad my accident turned into something beautiful. So my mom says, no kidding. <laughs> oh my God, isn't it so pretty? I just love it. Okay, this is not gonna be good enough, but I mean, you can see that it's doing something. You can kind of see the light that is changing colors with the sound of my voice, sort of reflecting off of this stuff. See how that's changing? La 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 la. Well, that's the light that you can see if you were to look under here, and you can see how it's going onto the lampshade, but unfortunately, you guys can't see it through the lampshade, but it is sort of showing. I guess it just needs to be darker. Somehow this is still not dark enough, even though this is the room right now. You can't see anything. Yet it's still not dark enough for the camera to pick it up. But it's working on the ceiling. See? Hello! And it's sort of working in person through the lamp, but just not enough. Maybe I'll give up on that part for now and come up with something new. But I am really, really happy with this. It is so gorgeous. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I already said goodbye. Leave me a comment down below with how you think I can fix the lampshade. Maybe I should have just made a transparent lamp and painted on small galaxies. Who knows? As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Again, ditto.